Hello everyone, this is Dark Calligraph. Today I am going to be drawing a medieval fantasy house. Grab some of your Lego. Turns out Lego makes a really good sharpener. If you are going to draw this along with me, I recommend you grab some paper and a pencil. Start to sketch from the second story of the house. You shouldn't copy this house directly. Use your imagination and design your own. You can look at fantasy houses on the internet for some inspiration. Or, if you're like me, countless hours of building medieval style houses in Minecraft will have finally paid off. Then, sketch the stone base. In the medieval times, stone and tiled roofs were uncommon and expensive. But this is a fantasy world, so we face no such limitations. Just like the medieval builders of the time, you will need to add diagonal supports. Add windows around the place sparingly. This wasn't a planned idea, it spontaneously appeared in my head this morning. And so I set up my recording gear and got to work. This doesn't happen very often. Once you have sketched your design, grab some colored pencils. I used these four colors and finished one plank to see what it would look like. To color in the wooden frame, darken the original sketch and then apply a light base color. Add the darker colors in strokes to create that wood texture. And finally, go back in with the pencil and add details. Create the rest of the timber frame in the same way. Most medieval houses have that filling created using a method called wattle and daub. Just create that by lightly shading the base color. I use mostly vertical strokes. I'll add shadows underneath the frame with a darker brown. You can also add horizontal wooden planks. Perhaps the wall started to fall apart so the owner attached these to help keep it together. Just more wooden frames for the roof, not too difficult. Instead of using daub this time, I add horizontal wooden planks. I am making my roof using a red and a brownish red. Color each tile individually, leaving one side blank. This blank area creates a highlight, which helps to further separate each tile. I am adding the brownish red to the top area, shading downwards. Also darken the lines between each tile. Finally, go over those lines once again, using a brown, Focus on the horizontal lines to make it look like the tiles are piling on top of each other. The highlights along with the shadows create a cool effect. You can alternatively create the highlights with a white pen at the end also. I've always liked architecture. Sort of crazy that I've never thought to draw a house on this channel before. And there are many possibilities, I could create a Japanese style house next, for example. Let me know if you want to see that. Legos seem to be very useful today. Not only for sharpening pencils, but also for magically coloring tiles instantly. Color in this part. You may be wondering why I'm doing this part instead of the roof. Well, like most people, colouring individual tiles makes me tired. But at some point you have to overcome the thought of it and just start. It is a repetitive process, but sometimes repetitive can look really nice. How are you today? I hope you are taking care of yourself in these difficult times for the world.
add in a door so our owner can get in without having to climb through the window. Now create a strong stone base for your house. Grab a few grey and blue colours and some green for foliage. Sketch in some barrels and a wheel on the side of the house. For this drawing I am only drawing the house in detail. The garden isn't in focus. Surprisingly, colouring in the stones is similar to colouring in tiles. Perhaps it is because tiles are just flat stones. Yeah, this big brain tile. Add in shadows once again. I use light grey as a base colour, then a dark blue, then the lead pencil. I didn't show it, but please remember to draw a set of stairs, so our owner can get to the door. While you're at it, draw him a dog too, because I forgot he's lonely now. Roughly sketch in a garden with little detail so the dog has a place to play in. I nearly forgot to add in the glass. Now go over all of the lines in pen. After that I will write something in calligraphy for you. All of the tiles again, here we go. Be careful, okay? The tip is pointy. I care about your safety. I'm going to write Medieval House. I'm quite happy with how this turned out. So you'll definitely be seeing me draw more houses from now on. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with a better video. This was Dark Calligraph. Watch my last video to see if I've improved and subscribe. Have a nice week, see you soon.